Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cristal and this is our very first tutorial on YouTube. I am the owner and designer at Glitz and Glue and my main focus is making fake bakes. I am known to make very large and gigantic pieces, but this time around we're going to do something medium size and something for everyone here. Whether you're a beginner at fake baking or you've been fake baking for some time, this is a really cool and fast and easy idea for you. Okay, before we get started, I want you all to do something. Take a few seconds to subscribe to my brand new channel. You guys are the first ones to see this very first tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy sharing what I know with you guys. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to be using an 8 by 4 styrofoam cake and you can purchase this at your local craft store and then we're going to use a brush and our deco art from Hobby Lobby and it is metallic gold. You're going to want to use a pretty thick brush and what I like to do is do the sides of my cake before I jump to the top because I always like to put my hand up here before anything okay so with a pretty decent amount of paint all you're gonna do is bring it all around your cake like this and don't be scared to add extra paint because sometimes your cake may need two coats and you're just gonna keep going all the way around The reason why I'm going with this metallic gold is because of the theme of this cake. And make sure that when you grab your paint, it is a metallic one so it can look just like this cake. It is very different if you don't. And we just need this little spot right here. And then we're gonna spin our cake to see if we got all the parts on the side of the cake. Now I failed to mention underneath the cake we have a parchment paper and I just cut it in the form of a circle. That way the corners won't get on my way. Okay, so I'm gonna stand a little far back from my cake and kind of take a glance at it and, and then put a little bit more paint and then just get half of my cake on this side and if you notice, I'm moving my hand side to side so I can get this side pretty, pretty fast. Okay, now we're going to jump to this side and we're going to repeat the same thing. And then just go all around and while you're twisting, and turning your cake, just lower your brush each time a little bit so it'll start to give it a smooth, smooth look. All the way until it reaches the bottom of the parchment paper. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're gonna get our rest of the paint and we're gonna paint the top. So for that, I'm just gonna be grabbing onto the sides and some parts in the top, okay? So at the very beginning, I like to be able to put my fingers on the cake so I can Hold it and stabilize it a little bit more. And then we're going to go all around our cake. Now I know you can see how beautiful this metallic is. Now I'm going to grab the side right here. And put some extra paint to cover the texture of the styrofoam. And 
and I'm just removing any extra paint. Okay, so now that we have this done, you're gonna go ahead and put this aside, let it dry, and then I'm gonna show you how beautiful we're gonna decorate the top. We'll be right back. The cake is dry, it's time to prepare our speckle. This is our fake frosting. What us fake bakers use is called lightweight spackle. The brand that I use is called Fast and Final Lightweight Spackle, and you can buy this at the hardware store, okay? And uh, you're gonna need a container, a Dollar Tree container as I have right here, and a popsicle stick. Now, we're gonna put a pretty good amount of our fake frosting so we can go ahead and pipe all of our cake. You can purchase some really good popsicle sticks for an affordable price at Walmart and they sell quite a few sizes on there. We need just a little bit more. Okay, so now that you have your fake frosting here, we're gonna add some acrylic paint. The color we're gonna go for today is a green, and this is new shamrock green. You can purchase this for about 40 or 50 cents at Walmart, and we're gonna put a really good amount on there. And then you're just going to mix and then gradually keep adding more. If the color you want needs to be darker, then you add more green. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit more of our green. And then let's mix this up. Until you get the color that you want, okay? There are some paints, special paints that you use to get your frosting, your fake frosting darker in color which I'll share with you on my future tutorials. Okay, so once you get that down, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this popsicle stick because after a while of twisting and turning and mixing, it kind of gets a little sloppy. We're gonna use a piping bag. The piping bags I like to use are the ones from Walmart and they are the 16 inch ones I believe, and we're gonna use the piping tip as well. The tip that we're gonna use is the Closed Star 2D from Wilton. Closed Star 2D from Wilton. So go ahead and cut a little bit of your bag. And to make it easier on you, just grab a cup, any cup you have laying around, preferably something a little bit deeper and taller so your bag can fill up real nice in there and let's not forget our piping tip then with another popsicle stick we're going to go ahead and pour some of our fake frosting right in here now i always say when you're trying to build up a frosting, meaning a whipped cream or anything like that, if you're trying to achieve a mug topper, a milkshake, I recommend for your fake frosting to be on the thicker side. I have always added flour and I have never had problems with it, but another item you can use if you don't feel comfortable with flour is baby powder and it'll thicken up your flour and that way when you do make your shake or your mug top or anything that involves putting it on top of, of top of one another, it won't collapse on you. If not, it will. But since our design here is going to be pretty flat and only one layer, we don't need so much of our frosting. All right. So now you have it here ready to go. We're going to go ahead and push it in. And now it's time to pipe our cake. 
our metallic cake is nice and ready to pipe. <laughs> we have our piping bag right here. What I like to do is just twist the end or you can tie a rubber band. And then this part that is left over right here, I just kind of like to bring it around my finger like this and kind of just hold on to it so none of this pops right out. And this piping method is very, very simple because the only thing we're gonna do is go around like this, okay? So we're gonna do our very first one right here. Start right here in the center and you work your way out like this. And I'm actually gonna push it a little bit, not push that one, but the rest, I'm gonna do it a little bit more towards the edge. And then we're gonna just push this down a little bit more. And our last one, right here. So we got ourselves a cake wreath, but we are not done. There is an ingredient that I love, love, love to incorporate to my designs, and it is called diamond dust. You can purchase this on Amazon, and I'm not sure if YouTube allows links or not, but if so, I'll go ahead and link this for you guys, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this diamond dust right over our frosting. Now, I'm gonna tell you, if you wait for your fake frosting to dry, then you're gonna have to put a coat of Mod Podge over it, otherwise the diamond dust won't attach to it, okay? Because if it dries, then it'll have nothing to adhere to. We're gonna put something up, a little bit up here, just in case we want some sparkle. And let me show you how beautiful this sparkles. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a cute little bow. But before we do that, we're gonna add a gem to our bow. And I have a very nice green one here, or I have a red one. These are gems that you can purchase at Walmart or at Hobby Lobby, especially during Christmas. So I'm gonna see how my red one looks, and then I'm gonna see how my green one looks. And I think I'm gonna lean towards my red. I think it looks a little bit nicer with not so many colors going on there. Using my low temp glue gun, I'm gonna put a little dab right here. I know my glue gun needs some cleaning and I'm gonna place it right over. You can get some of these bows, red bows at Dollar Tree, Walmart, or you can make your own using any red ribbon that you have. Now, if you guys stick around in the future, I'll show you how to make some easy, easy bows. Now, after we do this, we're gonna find the spot for it. And since this is a wreath cake, I'm gonna see which one of my circles, my little swirls here looks a little bit different than the rest. And this one is fairly bigger. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just push it through our spackle just a little. Just like that. And you got yourself a wreath cake. You can also design anything underneath, but for now, we're gonna leave ours just simple and beautiful because this is our very first tutorial and I wanna make things easy on you. And here we go, we have our beautiful cake, our metallic cake right here. You can glue this down under a base if you'd like, or you can leave it as is. I hope you guys enjoyed this very first YouTube tutorial and that you guys decide to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias like Facebook and Instagram because I have a lot of fun stuff happening over there. I hope to see you guys on the next tutorial and in the meantime, give me some thumbs up. I'll see you soon.